Hey guys, Benji D here from Get Fix, and today I'm coming at you with great news. The FBI is getting sued. <laughs> Ain't this about a bitch? You guys heard that correctly. The FBI is being put in their place by media groups filing lawsuits against them. If any of you guys remember the San Bernardino case a few months back, you'll know that the FBI and Apple got into it. Before we hop on this subject matter, I would like to say that the problem I have with this situation is that organizations such as the FBI are funded by we the people, meaning suing them is suing us. Think about who's really being sued here. Hypothetically speaking, let's just say the FBI gets sued for $234 million. Where do you think they're getting their fundings from? That's right taxpayers. All they gotta do to cover any legal expenses is dip their hands into an endless stream of money known as your tax dollars and pay it off without breaking a sweat. Now let's just dig into the meat of this story. A few months back, the FBI failed at an attempt to decrypt Apple's security system, triggering the 10 try attempt lock, aka ain't no way you're about to government your way past my security system. Realizing Apple's security ain't nothing to play with, the FBI finally decided to man up and ask Apple for a backdoor key. Don't worry Tim, this key will be in good hands. <laughs> right? No. They're asking Apple for something that doesn't exist. Apple never created a backdoor to their security system because that would be a flaw in security. Now that the big bad government's butt hurt after so many crybaby attempts to get a decryption method or at least a backdoor to Apple's beefy security, the FBI turned to a third party and actually got into the phone. I think I have a general understanding of how this third party source bypassed iCloud. They did it by replacing the IC, baseband, and the HDD chipset, which I think is the same as the Apple's A6 processor found in the iPhone 5S. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's how they did it. I say the A6 processor because that is where all the iCloud information is stored. The lawsuit against the FBI was filed under the US Freedom of Information Act. Long story short, the media demands answers to how the FBI bypassed Apple's iCloud security. The method they used may have been illegal. Also, did the third party vendor have adequate security measures? Let me know what you think about this down in the comments below and as always, thank you for being here. Peace. <laughs> Man, I love you, man. Bless up. Bless up. Yeah. Got that shit working. Oh my God.